when you want to update your BIOS, it does not have to be a scary experience. First step, identify what motherboard you have and then go to the support page of that website. Typically there's a drivers and download area and then firmware BIOS for this one is going to be the AMI BIOS and this is the latest date for that. You can even compare the version that's there to the one that shows up when you go into your BIOS. Look at that build date. That's very old. That's 2023. And uh, yeah, that's so it's this is old. I just booted this up. So go ahead and click on download. Save it to a trusty thumb drive. Yes, mine is adorable. On the back IO of your motherboard, typically there's a flash BIOS port. So go ahead and stick that in right there. Perfect. And I really do like the MSI M flash because it actually shows you your current BIOS, the name, version, build date, compare it to the selected BIOS, the brand new one that we downloaded. So yeah, this is a much newer, as you can tell, over a year newer. So we go ahead and hit enter on that. BIOS is updating. Do not shut down or restart the system until the BIOS update process is completed. Notice, mouse and keyboard would be locked during update. And then of course you get the fancy high resolution progress bar. Now this is a great time for me to mention how much I love a UPS unit because if the power goes out right now, I'm fine because the UPS is powering the PC. So yeah, it's a backup battery. I keep my internet, like my modem and my router and my switch plugged into it, my printer as well, and one light bulb, of course, as well. And so I'm perfectly fine and it protects against surges. I obviously mentioned that because if the power goes out right now and this was not plugged into a UPS unit, yeah, we may have some issues. You don't wanna lose power or have a power surge while you're updating your BIOS. And this took about maybe two minutes, maybe three minutes tops. And there we go. It shuts down and it's gonna go through its reboot process now. Now, one reason why I love the Meg X670E Ace motherboard is because it has this LED readout here. So it gives me all kinds of codes to let me know what's going on. And bam, just like that, we have a successful BIOS update. Very nice. And really the only thing you need to do here is just redo your XMP settings. So this one has three options for the Kingston RAM that I have. So just find the right one based on how many sticks you have and obviously the quality of your CPU and go from there. And so that's about it. It's a fairly simple and straightforward process. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this or if you've had some interesting experiences updating your BIOS.